you know, Melissa, I know that you are somebody and Melanie too, who are willing, both of you are willing to have uncomfortable conversations and you have become comfortable with uncomfortable conversations. And so, Melissa, we're going to dig a little deeper now and I, I have your permission to talk about this with you. So uh, I don't want our audience to think I'm putting you on the spot about something you had not agreed to discuss. But when I first met you, I met you because you wrote an article and when I read that article, first of all, it moved me to tears. And secondly, it said to me, this is an exceptional woman who needs to be part of our foundation. Would you be willing to share the story that led to the writing of that article? Definitely, Lorraine. So I'm very lucky to have found my why, my purpose, if you will. I'm very young in my life. Um, there were two experiences when I was younger that I felt like my voice was taken away. The first was I was raped, and the second one was uh, sexually molested. These two events uh, really helped morph me to the woman that I am today. It provided me the ability to have empathy and also understand the power of forgiveness. I really am thankful that these situations occurred. Um, and if you were to ask me, you know, would you take these two situations back? I would say no. And the reason is because it helped me understand what my purpose is, which is to uplift and be an amplifier for women's voices, especially in underrepresented groups. Mm -hmm.